Hello friends, this video on matrices part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 10. Now we will go through properties of matrix addition. So there are four properties, commutative law, associative law, existence of additive identity and existence of identity. Generally for any addition, this properties are true. For matrix addition also, this property is true. We'll explain all this. You know pretty much all this property because for addition also these properties are true. But we'll still explain this property once again. Commutative law. So if there are two matrices A and B of same order. Please note, the first thing we know that if you want to add to matrix, the order should be same. So if there are two matrices of same order, then A plus B is equal to B plus A. That is the commutative law. So you have two matrices A and B, then you say A plus B is equal to B plus A. Please note for multiplication, this is not true. We'll, we'll learn this A cross B is not equal to B cross A. That is commutative law is not true for multiplication. We'll study this in the multiplication chapter, but just know for addition, this is true. Also for subtraction, also this is not true. A minus B is not equal to B minus A. Correct. So for subtraction also commutative law is not true. But for addition, commutative law is true. Matrix A plus matrix B is equal to matrix B plus matrix A. Given both matrix are of same order. Associative law. So if there are three matrices A, B and C all of same order then A you add first to first A plus B and then you say plus C or you say A plus B plus C. Both are same. Both are same. This is what we call associative law. Correct. In normal addition also we have the same similar kind of associative law. In matrix also we have similar kind of associative law. We say A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. Now the property uh, existence of additive identity. It says that if there is a matrix A and 0 is a 0 matrix then A plus 0 is equal to 0 plus A is equal to A. That means you take any matrix A in that you add a 0 matrix you always get A. Or you take 0, you add A, you get A. That means 0 matrix is the additive identity for a matrix addition. See, normal calculation, you say 0 is the matrix identity because 1 plus 0 is equal to 1, 2 plus 0 is equal to 1. That is, you add 0 to any number, it becomes the same number. So, 0 is the additive identity. Similarly, for matrix addition, 0 matrix of order M into N is a additive identity for a matrix A of order M into N. The next property is existence of additive. So it says that for every uh, matrix A, A, I, J of order M into N, there exists uh, another matrix minus A, which has all the elements minus A, I, J of the same order M into N, such that you add A to minus A, it gives you 0 matrix or to minus a you add a you get 0 matrix. Same thing in math also if you have normal normal addition for 2 the additive inverse is minus 2 because 2 plus minus 2 is equal to 0. Same thing here also for any matrix you get a negative of the matrix such that if you add those two you get 0. So you can say that for a minus a is the additive inverse. So these were the four properties. Now let's take some examples. We have to compute A plus B and B minus C. And also we have to verify that A plus B minus C is equal to A plus B minus C. I think it's a pretty property. So let's verify this. So let's first find uh, A plus B as shown. So A plus B. will be nothing but we have this matrix 1 a is 1 2 
माइनस थ्री फाइव जीरो टू वन माइनस वन वन दिस ए प्लस बी बी इज दिस वन थ्री माइनस वन टू फोर टू फाइव टू जीरो थ्री सो इफ यू ऐड दिस द न्यू मेट्रेस इफ यू सी द फर्स्ट थिंग इज द ऑर्डर इज सेम वन टू थ्री थ्री हॉरिजेंटल वन टू थ्री थ्री वर्टिकल स्क्वायर मेट्रेस ऑफ थ्री बाई थ्री फॉर्म वन टू थ्री हॉरिजेंटल सेट थ्री थ्री वर्टिकल अगेन स्क्वायर मेट्रेस ऑफ थ्री बाई थ्री फॉर्म सो दिस इज अ स्क्वायर मेट्रेस ऑल आर आई मीन बोथ द मेट्रेस ए एंड बी आर ऑफ सेम ऑर्डर to add what we'll do we'll add the corresponding element so this becomes 1 plus 3 this is one thing but 1 plus 3 this is 2 plus minus 1 minus 1 and this is minus 3 plus 2 i don't have space to write so uh, let me assume there is no line here so this is minus 3 plus 2 and there is 5 plus 4 this number because This is five. This is four. So five plus four. This is zero and two. So this becomes zero plus two. This is two and five. So this becomes two plus five. This is one. This is two. So this is one plus two. This is minus one zero. So minus one plus zero. And this is one. This is three. So one plus. Three. So what you get eventually is one plus three is four. Two plus minus one is one. Minus three plus two is minus one. Five plus four is nine. Zero plus two is two. Two plus five is seven. One plus two is three. Minus one plus zero is minus one, and one plus three is four. So this is my A plus B set. First part is now. Similarly, we'll do the second part. Second part is to find A, B minus C. Same thing we'll do here for B minus C. What is the B set? This set. So we'll write this set first. Three minus one. Two, four, two, five, two, zero. This is B, and minus C. What is C? This guy. That is four, one, two, zero, three, two, one minus two. You subtract. You get a bigger. You set. That will be this. This element will be three minus four. This is three minus four. This guy will be minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one. This guy will be two minus two, two minus two. This guy will be four minus zero. This guy will be two minus three. Please understand what I am doing. I am just subtracting the corresponding element. Five minus two. This guy will be two minus one. This guy will be zero minus minus two. This will be three minus three. So if you simplify this, this is nothing but three minus four is how much? Minus one, minus one, minus one. That is minus. It is minus one, minus one. Correct. That is minus two. And then it is uh, two minus two zero, four minus zero four. Two minus three is minus one. Five minus two is three. Two minus one is one. Zero minus minus two is two. Three minus three is zero. So this is my B minus. This part is also done. Now I have to verify that A plus B minus C is equal to A plus B minus C. So let's take the LHS. It's nothing but A plus B minus C. What is the value of a? This set, so that is one two minus three five zero two one minus one and one. This is a plus b minus c. B minus c we already found this value. So let's add this minus one minus two zero four minus one three one two zero. So if we add this, this become one plus minus one. That is one minus one. You add corresponding element two and minus two. It is two minus two. Minus three and zero. Minus three plus zero. This becomes five and four. So it's five plus four. This is zero and minus one. Zero plus 
minus 1. This is 2 and 3, this is 2 plus 3. That is 1 and 1, 1 plus 1, minus 1 and 2, minus 1 and 2, 1 and 0, 1 plus. So this part becomes, if you see, 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 minus 2 is 0, minus 3 plus is minus 3, 5 plus 4 is 9, 0 plus minus 1 is minus 1, 2 plus 3 is 5, 1 plus 1 is 2, minus 1 plus 2 is 1, and 1 plus 0 is 1. So this is my LHS, correct? Similarly, I'll find RHS. So RHS, if you see, is nothing but a plus b minus c is a plus b minus c. So you see this value a plus b is already we found this value that is 4 1 minus 1 9 2 7 3 minus 1. This is my a plus b. From this you have to subtract c. C is this guy 4 1 2 0 3 2, 1, minus 2, okay. Now to subtract, again we we'll do the corresponding subtraction. So this first number will become 4 minus 4, correct? The second number will become 1 minus 1 because this is 1, this is 1 here. This guy will become minus 1, minus 2. Here it will become 9 minus 0. This guy will become 2 minus 3. This guy will become 7 minus 2. 3 minus 1, correct? Minus 1 and this is minus 2. So minus 1, minus minus 2. This guy will become 4 minus 3. 4 minus. To simplify this further, what you get? 4 minus 4 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. Minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. 9 minus 0 is 9. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. 7 minus 2 is 5. 3 minus 1 is 2. Minus 1 minus minus 2 is that is minus 1 plus 2 that is 1 and 4 minus 3 that is 1. So if you compare these two sets, they are exactly the same. You see, compare these two, both are of same order 3 cross 3. Also, the elements are same 0, 0, 0, 0, minus 3, minus 3, 9, 9, minus 1, minus 1, 5, 5, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. That means I can say that LHS is equal to RHS. Hence, I this is a very simple question. What we did? We first found the value of a plus b and b minus c because it was required. And then we were asked to prove LHS is equal to RHS. We found the LHS. Instead of b minus c, we put the value we derived. Instead of a, a plus b, we put the value we derived. And then we saw that LHS came out to be equal to RHS. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to Watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.